This is the update on that World War II, or shortly thereafter, post-war year, compressor. Big two-stage high-volume compressor. We purchased it at a sort of a swap meet auction, and it had a sign on it that said it knocked. We turned it over, and you could hear that there was you know, something loose a little bit in there. But we went ahead and decided that for five bucks, we could take a, a risk on it. Pulled it apart. It appeared to have you know, some bad, bad crank issues. So we sent it in. It was machine. The machine has said that the crank had been ground incorrectly fairly recently. Had very little hours on it, but they'd put a bit of a taper in it. So he reground it, resized the bearings for us, and said it should work fine. We go and we put it all back together. We discovered that something had fallen in the big piston and hammered the top of it. But you know what? It was okay. And the rings, while used, they were okay. So we honed it up, put it back together. This is designed to be a replacement for my two-piston, single-stage, 135 air compressor that I kind of accidentally ran without some oil. It was my bad. Regardless, we go through all the effort, put this thing back together, and when we spin it by hand, it goes clunk, 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 clunk. Basically, no change whatsoever kind of a bummer so we sort of left it and didn't get back to it until rather recent now several folks who work on these things had left various comments and ideas as to how to make it operate better uh, what the clunking might be and we ended up finding out what it was it was in the reed valve assembly the bolts were supposed to have copper washers. Now they did have copper washers, but this thing had been taken apart and put back together so very many times, the copper had kind of deformed. What that meant was that we were tightening the bolts down and they were sticking through a little farther than they were supposed to. Now one gentleman had suggested that we pull the cylinders off, not the heads, the cylinders off, and use a larger or thicker gasket at the base. Because that way, right, you don't want to put it here, this would be the head gasket, that way it's not under pressure and it doesn't have to seal as much. But these are the culprits right here. Those two, as a result of their squish copper washers, were sticking down a little farther than they were supposed to. And as a result, one of them just kissed the top of the piston. We took it back apart fairly recently we stacked a fresh copper washer on top of there, tightened it back down, and lo and behold, all the knock is gone. And while we clamped it down to the table and spun it up with a simply a horse and a half, which is not nearly big enough, she still started to develop pressure. So I just wanted to revisit it and let you know she's fixed.